we've got another crisis right in front of us, uh, which is what to do with unaccompanied kids. Now, these are not kids who are separated from their parents when they get here. These are the hundreds of largely teenagers that are coming to the, the country every day. Uh, 2,000 last week, D DHS turned over to HHS. I think the average was 362 a day, largely without any family connections in this country. A significant number are teenage young men from Guatemala. Uh, nowhere to go with them, but you, have, you can't obviously turn a minor uh, loose in the country or turn them over to anybody because there's nobody in many cases to turn them over to. So I think today there are 13,347 unaccompanied children, uh, the responsibility of the federal government. All the money to take care of those kids runs out sometime in the next 30 days. The appropriation's gone, the transfer authority is about to be gone, and there's no money to take care of these kids. We'll be at a point where we're talking to the grantees, largely not-for-profit groups who have grant, who become grantees with the federal government, and saying like you would in any government shutdown, if you'll just continue to take care of these 13,347 kids, at some point in the future we'll pay you to do that. The Congress needs to act on this just like it would any other emergency. So unfortunately, we didn't combine the two together, but we didn't, and we've got about less than 30 days to solve this problem.